welcome to the Earth of the Daytime Night Show and Jane Grace and Samaria just him She got that shit dumb pat. Well, hey, you gotta get good. Just like how, yeah. man, like I say, welcome to another episode of the John Graves Show. Or you stole that from me and said, hey, welcome to another uh, uh, episode of the Sean R Show. So, yeah, it's wonderful. I did not steal a thing. Y'all knew about me before you knew about that guy. But who was saying it first? But, Shut up. But I went to cute one on his channel. But anyway. That's why wait a minute, that's why you don't subscribe, really? <laughs> but anyway, make sure you gotta check out. Oh, make sure you gotta check out. Wow, this is the ass we be. <laughs> But anyway, the make secret, that girl the make, make sure the secret make lights sure. of Pat. This the is secret lights of Pat. I'm thinking, I'm thinking this is what a preview like we just did. Mm-hmm. And I'm, I'm still prequel. In. I mean sequel. Prequel, sequel. The preview, digital. preview. The sequel no one asked for. Fuck, get you the fucking review. Okay, we already know. You what. just sit, sit in your mouth. My bad. <laughs> you gotta stop being too real up on the internet, man. You already know that, that, that okay. that's a problem. Okay, we all disorientate. Hold on. <laughs> Getting, well, laugh hour is over. Getting into the whole crux of things. The once there was a dog named Max and he lived with a girl named Kate. You know, similar to how this girl is. And pretty much, you know, like it was a very happy life for Max and he loved his owner until she brought home a, another dog named Duke and it was his brother. And they didn't get along all that well until they had a fight one day. And then pretty much shenanigans happens. They get jumped by some cats in the alley. They lose their collars, and then they get almost taken to doggy jail. I I would say the, the pound. Oh, That's doggy jail. Yes, it is. But continue. But, but still, but, 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 random but rabbit Kevin pound. Hart semantics like um, <laughs> random rabbit and and, uh, and uh, famous comedian. Kevin Rabbit come comes in snowball. to to yes Kevin Rabbit Snowball comes in to save them as they as they made up a story of them killing killing owners and whatnot and then then that's the story uh, and also the other half is that they're friends or at least they trying to find or a way pretty to much bomb, um, uh, Gidget, the dog is who, to, Gidget is trying to find the one she loves Gidget a dog who likes Max was just watching Spanish uh, um a Spanish. TV shows one day and then just said yeah I'm about to go find Max because I like him and in the crux of her breaking into his house she finds out that yeah she finds a hawk who finds a who finds a rat uh, finds a cat who knows where they are and of course she be, be befriends a hawk wait, what? and yeah wait what about the and then they go to Ashton Schwartz to find him but the thing is this whole movie is basically um two pets trying to bomb they they can I say something? Go ahead. After, after. John, you hurt me. You hurt me. And how did I hurt you? What you said. About what? <laughs> about me. What did I say about Sorry, you? Sorry, like how I... You hurt me. How? Because you're a pet owner? What? How did I hurt how you? How did I hurt you? No, I don't. The goldfish. The <laughs> goldfish? <laughs> Not goldfish, the bluefish. The bluefish? What ever salty is? Salty, salty is a freaking beta crown tail. What... Ever specifics, specifics. Okay, okay, but anyway, wow. it was this movie based He's about Chinese fighting fish. It was about bonding, basically. Bonding, with your bro. Two pets that don't uh, like each other and they end up bonded due to serious events. Oh my God, Max was funny events. Max was a senpai and, and Gidget was a kohai. Notice me, senpai. <laughs> she loves it, but yeah, pretty much the whole. It crux. was great. Oh God. <laughs> yes, Tonisha Tiger. But yeah, Tonisha. Yes, Tonisha Tiger. <laughs> but yes, the whole. For some reason, the whole crux of having, of having. <laughs> I take it the whole the whole thing of like having an owner and not having an owner was actually the major crux of the story, which was kind of like the interesting thing of like which made Snowball and all the other flushed pets like or at least gave them their goal of like, well, yeah. My owner doesn't want me anymore. And it was pretty interesting to kind of have like a backstory for Duke of like, well, he had an owner, he left, and then, you know, sad shit happened, you know. What's what's in your nose? Nothing had to take a picture. What's in your what's what's in what's in your nose? Mine? <laughs> <laughs> Ain't nothing in my nose. <laughs> It looks like something was in your nose. I was like, what is that? No, it's just, <laughs> it's just shining right here. Why is it so shiny? I don't know. God dang it. What the hell are you doing, Safari? She's being Chris, but 
She has a justification to be Chris. Wait, wait, wait. She's not technically being Chris. Chris actually go off the wall. Like I said, truck. she has a justification. Chris doesn't, because Chris acts what? like... What? Chris acts wait, like a 10-year-old. How did you compare me to Chris? Because you are a children. Chris acts like a child. Children. Y'all motherfucker, come on now. But anyway. How could you? How could I? How Say how, say how can, say how can Chris, evil guy, but still, either way, um... The whole thing of like Duke's backstory of him getting with a getting with an older um, owner and and such, and then then they say, oh yeah, let's go find find his house. And that whole moment there was like, well, yeah, you know, I'm actually happy to see that Duke Duke actually called Mac Max out for that. It's like, why in the world would you even do that? You know, it was it was a very it like like it seemed like it would kind of take oh a deal to this get is five minutes long. As long as it's not 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 ten. Actually, you sometimes you get to twenty, but ain't be that long. Oh my god, it's five minutes long. So this video was nothing but lows. Just usually because of that, because of because of cutoffs. But yeah, not because of you. Speak your part. Go ahead, Samara. What you gotta say so you keep cutting people off? I'm not cutting you off. Go ahead. <laughs> but anyway, go ahead, John. It, this Literally, you were just talking. movie is very <laughs> expressive, and that is the crux of what made it so wonderful. Like just with the hawk, uh, Herbert. What's his name? Herbert or something like that. Yeah. Like, like the like the wonderful thing of his char- character was that he wanted to eat everything because he was a predator. You gotta eat He's like city. He tried to eat everything, but <laughs> but honestly, the but like the emotion of him holding back because he really wanted to eat them was like. For some reason, it was super funny. It's like so I like how, I like how everybody to like slid down a little thing. And he like he he rolled his eye and flew down and got crushed. <laughs> I mean, wonderful. it had a whole lot of good comedy. Wait, in this yeah, spoilers! Movie. Spoiler Or And they don't care about no spoilers. Yeah, most people already seen this movie. But also, just about. like, but also, it had a very slapsticky type of comedy style, which I really like, especially with like the snake in the sewer, because of course he's about to eat Max, and then of course some rubble falls on him. Okay, he's not fine. Then more rubble falls on him. Then they're pretty much like the top of a um uh, the the top of the roof falls on him and then catches on fire. <laughs> like, how, how did this happen? How did it happen? Where is the logic? Where how did that win? It's in between slapstick comedy and actual murder because I think he did die because of that. So it was like <laughs> So I was like, on one hand it's really funny how it played out, but then it's kinda tragic because this because the snake just got crushed to death. It's like... Imagine you were that snake. Imagine. <laughs> and also, I will give it this. This movie has really good fight fight scenes. Hold on, hold on. The 10 year old's gonna love it, but still. <laughs> I said 10 year old. <laughs> but, yeah. It's like, the fight scenes <laughs> in this movie were actually really amazing to watch. To watch, well, not only Gidget, like, tear down, like, all the people. It was also Duke as well. Usually, always with them grabbing like snakes and spinning them in, uh, in the circle. I like how she just jumped down and beat everybody ass. Yeah, you know, we'll put For a small. Oh, man, baby, I'll give a kid at you right here. For a small dog as whatever she was. She I... was a Pomeranian, I think. Was he? Don't even know. It, you, you sure? Yeah, I'm pretty sure she was a Pomeranian. No. That was, I think that was what the other dog was, the one who was super hyper. <laughs> the super high, the super high. Running around, the... broke everything, and finally grabbed his shoes. Pretty that, much. That was a pug. That was a pug. Yeah, little pugs, and they had the chihuahua who peed on himself. At the so, end, yeah, so I, I think Gidget the... was a Pomeranian. Yeah, they is fluffy, and they got the little curly tail. Yeah, so I think Gidget... Her tail, was, her tail really wasn't all that curly. It was mostly, like, just... It's fluff. actually, like, a little pretzel, sort of. It's, it's like, like, it's how like, like, a curly tail is. It was, yeah. it, was, it was really fluffy, but you still... Can, you can see the curl, so, like, yeah, <laughs> it was a Pomeranian. Let, let's just say Gidget's a Pomeranian, because... That's she weird. was wonderful with her. She, I she love was her wonderful. Voice. Max was wonderful. They were they were all wonderful. I love her voice. I just love her voice. With a cameo from Akira, everybody. What up, Akira? Thank you, Akira. Yeah. But yes, this movie was amazing. Why we do recommend you go see it. Mm-hmm. It is very wonderful. Mm-hmm. But anyway, tell you guys, thanks. Tell you guys, rate, comment, and subscribe. Make sure you got rate, comment, and subscribe. I Make sure it. you rate, comment, and subscribe. Make sure you rate, comment, and subscribe. Take out Smario Chandler. They're going to stab us in our sleep if and, we keep this And up. John Gray, huh? Joe. They're going to stab us in our sleep if we keep this Wait up. a minute. How are they going to stab me? Y'all are going to... And we're talking about you. Later.